Hey Riverside to another week of core groups. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's message. I just want to give you a little snippet here again that you get to talk about. Uh, man, what a Sunday. I, I feel like that was not even what what I wanted to talk about. I wanted to dwell mostly when it comes to uh, how the Lord is addressing the scribes and the Pharisees. Like you're doing the tithing, that's all right, but you're neglecting the larger thing. So I actually wanted to get in the sermon to that part, but I, I felt like the Lord stirred me so much on, on talking about tithing. And I, I, I had this distinct feeling that many people sitting here are probably struggling in this area and so i kind of felt like wow all right that's uh, I'll, I'll just go with it so it, it, this was a a very interesting one for me too and i i just want to encourage you i don't know if that's maybe a place where you get to talk and share about tithing but i want to encourage you first and foremost in this if you have a tithing testimony please share it in the core group shared in a core group because it's one of the things that i explained to somebody here after the service is it's the beautiful thing about tithing you know uh, for healing sometimes we pray for people for healing sometimes it happens sometimes it doesn't happen sometimes you get a testimony there's a testimony sometimes there's no testimony it's hit and miss because it's up to god if he heals somebody or does a miracle but with tithing i have yet to find a person that has started to tithe and there is not a financial story of blessing that came out of it. That's how great God's faithfulness is. It's like there's a hundred percent it works. It is a hundred percent testimony coming out just because of our faithfulness. God is allowing us uh, to test him in this, to test his faithfulness with our faithfulness in it. It's this beautiful thing. If you have a tithing testimony, um, would you be able to share this in the group and inspire everybody else? Uh, let's maybe not uh, go around and ask everybody if they're giving their full tithe or not. Well, we, we don't want to be pharisaical in this, but if you know that you have a tithing testimony, just say, this is your uh, time right now to share it with everybody in the group and inspire everybody with God's faithfulness because you have tested it. Um, but then also maybe uh, just talk about a little bit about it. You know, when Jesus is talking about the scribes and the Pharisees, that they're, they're kind of misering around with uh, what they're tithing and, 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 and what not, and, and, and they're, uh, you have to tithe this and that. But then Jesus is also saying, but you neglect the larger things. Uh, let me read it again. Again, Matthew chapter 23, uh, verse 23. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you tithe mint and dill and cumin and have neglected the weightier matters of the law, like other things of the law, like justice and mercy and faithfulness. Can you imagine somebody who is just bringing his tithe to the church and he's just tithing and thinking that everything is good? And yet at the same time, it's a person that neglects justice, <laughs> that neglects mercy, having mercy on other people, which basically means it's somebody who is judgmental with other people all the time instead of being merciful, being kind, being tender-hearted uh, toward other people instead of showing no mercy. You know, it's like being hard, being harsh. At the same time as, as you give, it's it's this religious spirit somehow. It's it being this, this religious. Um, we have to do our part with the tithing, but at the same time, if if we think that this is all that is needed and the rest of our life we can live however we want to live that's not true because it's all a package deal god doesn't care about the money we don't have to feed god with the money it's not like that god looks at the heart and at the faithfulness and as he's looking to the heart it doesn't work he does recognize our heart and our faithfulness in one area but if that's not the same faithfulness in another area like justice and mercy then he's going to recognize that as like you have a divided heart what you're trying is you're trying to bribe me but yet your heart is not fully committed and so uh, jesus is uh, getting at at that point here with the uh, uh, scribes and the pharisees that they are neglecting the weightier things like mercy and faithfulness and he says um you ought to have done that, like tithing, without neglecting the other things, you blind guide straining out a net and swallowing a camel. Like literally somebody who is just like straining out the, the details. And uh, sometimes we get so hung up with details 
that we just don't see the big picture. And I hope that in our faith life, and especially toward our brothers and sisters, that we'll never get in a place where we're just so much about details, while we forget the bigger picture. Because God always sees it from a bigger picture, and we ought to see with God's eyes on that. So I just want to leave you with this. Maybe just talk a little bit about that. If you have a tithing testimony, talk about a tithing testimony. And then just talk about the stuff that God has stirred in you um, as you have been listening to this or today in the sermon. God bless you.